undefeated. Oh. <laughs> Come on, bro. We got to talk about this, man. Yard. <laughs> Listen, Yard Baterbiev. Let's just get straight into it because a fight of all fights, bro. You oh. saw it. We saw it at home. How Trevetiev, you good? <laughs> For the people that don't know, this this man once again put his name on the line. He said, "Listen, I'm so confident of a yard victory, I will change my name to Trevetiev." <laughs> yeah, if he loses, I said, "Bro, we've been here before." But again, mm-hmm. he said, "I know my dog." Again, your dog came up short, but then he, he still won in terms of there was like a moral victory. There was it there was, was some kind of victory that he had. That's Talk right. To me. That's right. And that's why I'm not going by Trafferty. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> no. <laughs> but, you know, it's it's one of those things where the fight was, it wasn't, you know, what, what the majority were predicting. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yard came in and by their estimations, he overachieved. Yeah. Mm. Now, me saying I know my dog is the fact that I knew it was going to feel like this. Yes. You know what I'm saying? He ain't getting run over by no one. Like, forget that. That's not, that's not, that's not how Yard gives it up. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But, you know, going into this fight, I was like, yeah, no, I had a feeling that the camp, everything felt different about the camp. Ever since that Lyndon Arthur loss, yes. everything felt different about this camp. There's a solemn undercurrent of confidence that these guys have. Yeah. Tunde's not talking so loud anymore. Do you understand? Like, it, it, everybody's be- behaving differently. So for Absolutely. me... Yeah, go on, carry on. That, that, that led me to get to the place where I'm like, you know what? they are going to come and do something. They've got a plan. That's how yeah. I felt going into the fight. Yeah, you know what? The difference for me is, you know, there's that thing where the loudest person in the room often isn't the strongest. That's what they say, right? He's mm-hmm. trying to force and trying to draw attention to himself because he could be lacking in certain areas. Mm-hmm. It's different in this situation where they weren't too loud. There was a knowing confidence. There was a quiet confidence of the camp. You know, there was, there was almost a thing that we've done the work and we we believe we're ready now. The credit that I'll give to I, I still have to give all credit to Batavia in this moment, right? But right. the credit I'll give to Yard in this moment is simply like again, it was unexpected, and yeah. it it was a big step up. It was a big step up. Yes, it's there's a lot of losses now. Well, I don't in a short career, you got three losses on the resume. You know, um, I think one that you one you have to discount because of what he went through in his personal life probably should never yeah. been in the ring. So then after you say to yourself again, when they, when you talk about matchmaking, that should never happen. But then I can't even blame the team for that because for someone that's gone through like a bereavement, you want to, you, you're trying to pull yourself out of it. So you'll do a mad, you, you'll do, you'll make mad decisions. Now, should you be listened to in those times at the time mm. when I was making any mad decision I was making, no one could tell me anything different. You know, mm. I'm like, I have to do this for myself so it's one of those in re- retrospectively him and the team will probably say you know what i probably shouldn't have fought when i lost yeah, um to Linda. when i had that family but yeah when i had that family bereavement but it is what it is so you mm. you have to discount that one the first one i do blame on the the first one i blame on the team in terms of inexperience is those jump for, for no reason the kovalev one i say look even now to and they've learned from it because Again, you're not hearing the empty the tank or this, that, and the other way. It was yeah. it was tiredness that killed him. It was almost not yeah. being prepared. You see this fight here, you go up against an elite in terms of in terms of what Bataviev is. He's elite, he's an elite fighter. He deserves yeah. respect. He's on the mountain with Bibbo, and they'll mm-hmm. have to see each other at some point. But you've gone up against an elite and you're just not at that elite level. World level, you definitely a lot of UK light heavies don't want to see you. But though that's the breakdown of your career. So that means really and truly the next fight is key for me. The next, the next yeah. fight that he has is key and it is a must-win fight for yeah. if, if we're being honest. The next fight has to be a must-win because we do need to know where to rank him. Yeah, moral victories are cool, but at the end of the day, it's wins and dub is wins and dubbies. People are not gonna go back in when in 10 years' time. When people go back into the box wreck, they're just gonna say loss, 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 loss. Mm. They're not gonna, you know, story's I mean, not gonna be told like that. It's not gonna be told like this with this context. Yeah. So yeah, that's uh, my thoughts on things. No, I definitely hear you. I definitely hear you. I just think, you know, um, 
I just think given the credit, because, you know, I've seen a couple conversations online about the whole yard thing and stuff like that. Yeah. And like, you got to remember this guy and why this is such a, a thing where, it's, you know, the moral victory is there because of his story. Like, yeah. 10 amateur bouts. Like, I think it's, it, it totals up to around 30-something fights. Yeah. That's, he, sh- he has no business being at this level with that resume. Do you know what I'm saying? So a lot of people dining out on the, you know, what, what what has he done to make you believe he was gonna win? Come on, bro. There's there's fights where man of both champions and look at Inui and Butler fam. Yeah. The the guy's a champ, and we could still say yeah. that. We know what time it is. Yeah, he's gonna get smashed. Like the fight was what it was. What if he shocks us though? But we'll leave that. <laughs> it's a hand delivery for the belt. Do you know what I'm saying? No, this yeah. fight's already happened, fam. <laughs> it's already oh, no, oh, wait, the new um that wait the Oh, I missed. Do you know? It's, I, yeah. I missed that. I yeah. missed that. I missed that. <laughs> well, you know this. Did it happen in G- what January? What December? Late December? In Japan? In, yeah, 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 yeah. That was. He yeah, just came over there to hand deliver those. Like bro. We spoke about it or something. Yeah, we we. I think we spoke about. It. Apologies, trust, by the way. Trust me. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. We we spoke about it beforehand, and then afterwards, it was very much like it was 13th of December. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Apologies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. But but that's what I'm saying. So you know, you look at that. It's like you know, I saw I saw base in the comments actually used yeah. the analogy. Somebody in a conversation with base used the analogy. It's like you know, you'd root for the small team who made it to the FA Cup final against the big, the big like the big man you yeah. and competing with them. This is not that yard is the equivalent of a small team, but he doesn't have a world class win at this point. So at this yeah, point, yeah, you yeah, yeah. resume. You're like you fought these guys. You're playing in 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 that that level. To step up to this one, you've got no chance. And man's yeah. gone in there and looked like that. So he deserves the plaudits that come afterwards, the the the, the praise. Because yeah, you know what I'm saying. And now it's a case of, like you say, going forward, we do want to see you. He get has that, to. He that has Joe to. Smith, that Marcus yeah, Brown. you need you need the you names. need them wins now. You know, even if you and it's mad because you people keep talking about this European level and stuff and capturing just get that, out, think, of, here. Get get that, that out of there you know it's like, that's not his interest at the moment it's now the big big fights right a, another big fight but domestically there's a lot of names Dan Aziz yeah he's floating Craig Richards is about as well these what's are names the, that you want to see the, the all-time name that's been Boatsy. For Boatsy. It, it'll be different for me with the Boatsy one but mm. Yard does because I understand what they're trying to build towards Yard does need a solid, a solid win where he can say, "Listen, this is my thing. This is my div- like. This is my yeah. division." You know, mm-hmm. um, and I, that's the next steps. But I just want to just spend some quick time on Baturbiev and say, "Listen, yeah, yeah, yeah." For me, out of the two, out of the two light heavies that are remaining at the top, Baturbiev's the one for me, fam. I yeah. don't give it. I don't care okay, what that's your, does. That's your style. That's your style care. preference. It's a yeah. style preference. Definitely style preference coming through. I, I do like the intelligent fighters, but I just like the ones that just say, you know what? Um, if it if it comes to it, we can meet in the middle of the ring and, and just go out. for it and bang out. But they're not only saying that he does that; he's a very clever fighter. He will find the answer again. He's the remember that thing that Canelo tried to say. Some people tried to work it out, but they. <laughs> He can fully, say, <laughs> he can yeah. say it. That's his said. He's allowed to say, you said, no one, everyone has tried. Many people have tried mm. and they didn't have the answer. Mm. Um, what say I you, man? Who's, who's out of Batavium and Bivol? Way, uh, I go Bivol style wise. I think the yeah. style, you know, like, but it's it. Anthony Yard showed a lot in there as well. Yeah. Like, it was what it wasn't a performance. You see, like, Kovalev was a very spirited moment where. I'd say maybe the round or two before mm-hmm. there was a thing of wait a minute he's starting to starting to exist and then oh my gosh he nearly got him and then it was like okay back on the jab and yeah him. so that that mo- that round really shines light in our memory but by and large it was a Kovalev win throughout yeah. the rest of the fight it, all the rounds before and after this one wasn't like that this was man going back and forth. Winning around, losing around, winning around, winning around, losing around. Losing around. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it doesn't really crack. No, no, like, no, no. Yeah. What I'm saying is this: year, the fact Yard was able to outbox him in the, in the ring sometimes, land a shot and just beat him to the punch. And certain moments, it was like, right, Yard's really keeping this. It's it's not I a mean, thing of 
It's not. I didn't unlucky. have him outboxing him though. I know you say no, that. Yeah, I don't have him outboxing him. Have you watched it back? I haven't. But Travis, yeah, even on what I, even on what I saw, he did not outbox trust him. Me. I'm not Take having that. No, there's times where he just flat out one rounds is what I'm saying. Okay. Like, however many rounds you gave him, he won the round decisively when the, when it was yeah. his time to win a round. Yeah. Right. And what I'm saying is, Yard showed a lot more of Baterbiev than I think other guys have been able to show. Mm. Bivol. Uh-huh. Now, as far as boxing IQ and his ability to maneuver in the ring, he keeps those advantages, but he keeps them. Do you know what I'm saying? Yard yeah. in that fight, when he had success, he tried to follow up on the success, build on the success. He never really just let it sit because it was very much a I've hurt you, I'm gonna keep trying to hurt you. And that sometimes walked him into a trap with Baturbia, right? Yeah, because it's like that follow, I'm I'm coming after you, I'm coming after you, I'm still coming after, you. and then Baturbia finds a way to pivot, and now it's the other way. Whereas B- Bivol. When Bivol gets success, he doesn't get excited. He oh no, he's a, much... he's a thinker, and that's why I think I see a lot of the rounds looking like that. Now, Not at all. No, no. God, oh, I, I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. Let me learn. Yeah. Now, where I I don't think Bivol is a small puncher. He's just not a KO guy. He's not going to have yard power, right? But he's going to be able to land this type of shots yard was landing in the middle of the ring. Now, you hit someone flush in the face at that level. He's got to address it. You know what I'm saying? He's got to do something with it. Bivol, I think he's too quick on his feet to get trapped in certain ways. So I see that fight being a, a very smooth 12 shutout. Not not like a you know like a clear out. You no know, rounds for Baturbi, but yeah. I see him winning on point. All right, there. listen. End end of the day, listen, people in the comment section, you know what to do. I've got go, my opinions. Go on, go ahead. Before we go, I do want to say big up to the coaching side, Tunde, James Cook, and the yes. rest of the team. Because they did a good job. Oh, fantastic. You know they did a good job. And it's, it's one of the reasons we, we, why I'm saying that, yes, he lost. But they did a good job. Again, we, we know the, the model of car we're dealing with here. What yeah. The history of what Yard has done. They, they got no business being at that level competing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Tunde gets a lot of slap. Bro, when, when things are bad, they uh, call him for Tunde's head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Things are not bad. Things are promising. Promise off the back yes. of that fight. That's the word I say. One hundred percent. Again, I have to ask the questions though. So in the comment section, you lo- let us know who should be Yard's next opponent. Let us know who you want to see him mix out with, and don't give me no nonsense. Don't give me nonsense names, real names, so we can really move his career on. And again, what me and Travis saying about Baterbiev Bivo, I'm saying one hundred percent Baterbiev. Again, Travis talks about boxing style and this, that, and the other. Listen, he ain't, he ain't, he ain't felt a tumble in his face from a man like Batavia fam so we'll <laughs> see you lot say Bivol let us know in the comment section big it's up given, yourselves it's giving what? Floyd Pacquiao is what I'm going to say do you know how disappointing that fight was oh it was the worst <laughs> <laughs> Yo, people, thanks for watching the Undefeated Podcast. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, leave a comment and all that good stuff, man. This is the place to be. 